everyone, my name is Zoe, and in this presentation, I will be talking about Malala Yousafzai and how she impacted the world. Here, you can see the table of contents. Today, I will start by talking about who Malala is and how she got to where she is today. Next, I will explain how she gained recognition and what kickstarted her fame. I will also list some of the awards she won and the books she wrote. After this, I will explain what the Malala Fund is and how you can get involved. I've also chosen some quotes I want to share, and finally, I will give some points about why I chose to talk about her today. So, before I start, I want to apologize if my pronunciation is a bit off when saying their names. Uh, moving on, I'd like to give a short introduction on Malala Yousafzai. She was born in Mingora, Pakistan on the 12th of July in 1997, which makes her 23 years old. Her parents are Ziaudin Yousafzai and Tur Pekai Yousafzai. She went to Kusha Public School until 2012, and after this, she went to Ekwastan High School for Girls from 2013 until 2017. She finished school at the Lady Margaret Hall. Malala Yousafzai is a Pakistani activist and has been actively speaking up about girls' rights since she was about 15 years old. According to the former Prime Minister of Pakistan, she has become the most prominent citizen of the country. Now, some of you may be wondering how Malala got to where she is today. In 2008, when the Pakistani Taliban's influence in Swat was growing, she was asked to blog anonymously about her life there by BBC. This was a very risky task, seeing as at the time Taliban militants were banning girls' education, women from going shopping, listening to music, watching TV, etc. The bodies of beheaded policemen were being displayed. The Taliban took control of everything, and at some point she couldn't go to school anymore because, as I said before, girls weren't allowed to. On October 9, 2012, she was shot on her way back home from school when a gunman entered the bus and asked for her. The bullet hit her head, and she woke up 10 days later in the hospital. The assassination attempt occurred in correlation with her activism. After she survived the attempt on her life, she received international support. Even the Deutsche Welle reported that she may be the most important teenager in the world at the time. The murder attempt also received worldwide media coverage. Throughout her recovery, she became a prominent activist for the right to education, and not soon after, she co-founded the Malala Fund with her father by her side. Following this, she co-received the Nobel Peace Prize in 2014. In 2018, she started studying philosophy, politics, and economics at University of Oxford. She also traveled the world, fighting child marriage, gender discrimination, and many other things. She graduated from Oxford University in 2020 and is more dedicated than ever to her fight for girls' rights. Despite all of her previously named efforts and achievements, her reception in Pakistan is mostly negative, seeing as she is openly against the Taliban policy, which makes her quite unpopular. Not that that would stop her. In 2015, the APPSF, All Pakistan Private Schools Federation, banned her book in all Pakistani private schools. And there was even a book titled I Am Not Malala released, which accuses her of attacking Pakistan's army with the cover of female education. Many conspiracy theorists also accuse her of faking the assassination attempt, and due to her Nobel Prize, she is also labeled as an agent of the West. Now, what really put the world's attention on her? Obviously, when she co-won the Nobel Prize in 2014 for all her efforts, the media's attention was on her. However, what really shocked the world was the attempt on her life. She survived said assassination attempt and never backed down from her fight. Now, this might not be as big of an event as the previously mentioned, but in 2013, she also visited The Daily Show with Jon Stewart, which was her first big late-night appearance. She left him speechless after saying the following, I started thinking about that, and I used to think that the Talib would come and he would just kill me. But then I said, if he comes, what would you do, Malala? Then I would reply to myself, Malala, just take a shoe and hit him. But then I said, if you hit a Talib with your shoe, then there would be no difference between you and the Talib. You must not treat others with cruelty, and that much harshly. 
we must fight others, but through peace and through dialogue and through education. Then I said, I will tell him how important education is, and that I even want education for your children as well. And I will tell him, that's what I want to tell you. Now do what you want. Now, Malala has won many awards due to her activism. Here, I have listed some of the awards. Now, I won't read them all, but I will be naming some. In 2013, she received the United Nations Human Rights Prize, which is an award that is only given every five years. She won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2014 at the age of 17. Also in 2014, Time Magazine named Malala one of the most influential teens of 2014 and 100 most influential people. In 2015, Malala received a Grammy Award for Best Children's Album for I Am Malala, How One Girl Stood Up for Education and Changed the World. Malala has released a total of five books. In 2013, she wrote a book with Christina Lamb titled I Am Malala, the story of the girl who stood up for education and was shot by the Taliban. It is an autobiography. In 2017, the book had sold almost 2 million copies and received three awards. In 2017, Malala's Magic Pencil was released, and shortly thereafter, Malala, My Story of Standing Up for Girls' Rights, came out in 2018. Finally, in 2019, a book titled We Are Displaced came out. Malala founded the so-called Malala Fund alongside her father in 2013. It is an international nonprofit organization which works towards ensuring that every girl has access to 12 years of free, safe, and quality education. Additionally, it is their goal to amplify girls' voices and work towards a world where every girl can learn and lead. They work in Afghanistan, Brazil, Ethiopia, India, Lebanon, Nigeria, Pakistan, and Turkey. Now here's how you can get involved and help out. You can donate, which means that you invest in Malala Fund programs that help girls around the world go to school. You can also subscribe to Assembly, where girls share their thoughts and opinions. If you cannot give money, you can share your own story and send in your thoughts, challenges, and achievements. Additionally, you can start a fundraiser or simply read Malala's book. Now, I have found three quotes that I thought were quite impactful. The first one is... We need to encourage girls that their voice matters. I think there are hundreds and thousands of Malalas out there. Followed by, one child, one teacher, one book, one pen can change the world. And finally, when the whole world is silent, even one voice becomes powerful. I would now like to explain why I chose to talk about her in this presentation. I think it is incredibly inspiring that despite almost losing her life, solely because of her activism, she still didn't give up and hasn't stopped speaking up and making a difference. It's also so admirable that she has achieved all of these things at such a young age. Here are my sources and thank you so much for your time and attention and I hope you have a great rest of your day.